hopes and fears. It seems like this year has been nothing but dashed hopes and heightened fears, hasn't it? I'm sitting outside this morning processing yet another, another loss, a race canceled three days beforehand. It's the absolute right decision, but it still stinks. It's that both and. So I'm out here pr trying to practice the, what I've preached to my kids all year, resiliency. But I gotta be honest, I'm just about all out of resiliency for this year. As I look at the Advent theme for this year, the thing that really jumped out at me was the word and, hopes and fears. We're asked this season to bring both our hopes and our fears to God. Not just one thing, not just our hopes, not just our fears, both. God doesn't ask for part of me. God asks for all of me, even in the midst of this season. So today I'm focusing on the and and what that means for me and for you in this Advent season. I'm grateful for so many things, a healthy family, a home, a paycheck. And every year I benefit from the unmerited luck of being born a white male. In 2020, I've missed hugs and handshakes, dining out with friends, cheering my team from the stands and traveling. I've really missed in-person worship and communion. These inconveniences aren't the big thing though. I share John Donne's sense that no man is an island, that the bell tolls for all of us with every death. I share Dr. King's sense that injustice anywhere threatens justice everywhere. I share the scripture's sense that we should be welcoming immigrants with love. So I mourn preventable suffering and death in 2020. I long for our nation to demonstrate competence and truth and some evidence of empathy for the disenfranchised. I hope for better outcomes in our community, particularly for those who are most vulnerable. This year, I've stared at the clock at 4 a.m. on far too many mornings frustrated with my personal limitations to affect change for anything on the list. But Christ has come, Christ is coming, and Christ will come again. I'm grateful for a liturgical season to intentionally practice hopeful, expectant waiting, even while we mourn and sing hymns in a minor key. Rejoice, rejoice. May we all sense God's presence anew this Advent season. <laughs>